part of polygons in our previous class we saw sum of exterior angle of any polygon to be equal to 360 degree now we have some problems using that idea look at the first question all angles in an 18 sided polygon are equal how much is each outer angle we know sum of outer angle of any polygon to be equal to 360 degree we have checked it in the case of a triangle and quadrilateral and it is the same for all polygons now you are given for a 18 sided polygon all angles are equal so how can you get each outer angle we can get each outer angle of the polygon by dividing 360 by the number of sides so you get 360 divided by 18 that is equal to 20 degree 2 18s are 36 so we got each outer angle of 18 sided polygon to be equal to 20 degree is it okay come to the next question pq this line pq and rs of the quadrilateral are given to be parallel question here compute all inner and outer angles of the quadrilateral we are given two angles also we are given a condition pq and rs to be parallel lines now in 7th standard you have studied about parallel lines and the angles made by the parallel lines when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal we call these two angles to be co interior angles and co interior angles are always supplementary use that idea to get the answer for angle at yes since these two lines are parallel co interior angles are supplementary so to get angle s yes, it is enough if you subtract 180 minus 50 degree which gives you 130 degree in a similar way we can write the inner angle at q we know this angle plus inner angle at q are supplementary so how do you write angle q angle q is 180 minus 110 which is equal to 70 degree now we got all the inner angles of the quadrilateral pqrs now to write the outer angles we use the idea of linear pair so angle outer angle at r would be equal to 180 minus 110 which is equal to 70 degree outer angle at q is equal to 180 minus 70 which is equal to 110 degree outer angle at p is equal to 130 degree and outer angle at s is equal to 50 degree come to the third question children draw a quadrilateral and mark any two outer angles i have drawn a quadrilateral abcd and i have marked two outer angles now the question is is there any relation between the sum of these two and the inner angles at the other two vertices which are the inner angles at the other two vertices we can say they are c and d we are going to find out a relation between the sum of these two outer angles and the sum of these two inner angles is it clear now we know this angle can be said as a we can say this is angle a and this angle is angle b so we can say outer angle at vertex a is equal to 180 minus the inner angle 
similarly out triangle at b is equal to 180 minus b now let us add these two out triangles okay so if you add these two out triangles we can write sum of two out triangles is equal to 180 minus a plus this angle 180 minus b now add the two so what do you get 180 plus 180 gives you 360 degree so we can write 360 degree minus a minus b or otherwise we can write this to be equal to 360 minus of angle a plus angle b is it okay now let us think about the interior angle at the other two vertices now you know the sum of all angles of this quadrilateral to be equal to 360 degree that is i can write let us name this as c and this as d so we can write a plus b plus c plus d to be equal to 360 degree we have to add the sum of these two angles so let us keep these two angles c plus d on one side let us write angle c and angle d on one side and let us take these two angles to the other side so you will get 360 minus if you take angle a to the other side you get minus angle a and b taken to the other side gives you minus angle b or otherwise this is equal to 360 minus of angle a plus angle b now what did you understand sum of inner angle at these two vertices is equal to 360 minus of angle a plus angle b sum of two outer angles is also 360 minus of angle a plus angle b from this you can come to a general conclusion that in any quadrilateral sum of interior angle at any two vertices would be equal to the sum of exterior angles at the other two vertices is it clear children share your doubts and suggestions in the comment box thank you